Good evening, I'm Juanita Phillips. The state's police watchdog has issued a damning report into the fatal shooting of Sydney man Adam Salter. It's found seven officers engaged in misconduct and has recommended that four of these officers face criminal charges. Adam Salter was shot in the back by police after grabbing hold of a knife he'd used to stab himself. The Police Integrity Commission says officers knowingly gave false evidence and a senior detective prejudged the outcome of his own investigation. Here's Carl Herr. First a coroner, now the Police Integrity Commission. The latest inquiry into the Adam Salter case is another scathing assessment of the actions of police. This is a tragedy but a double tragedy where a family lost their son but were also lied to by police. Adam Salter was being treated for self-inflicted stab wounds on his father's kitchen floor when he suddenly got up and rearmed himself. He was shot by Sergeant Cherie Bissett. A police investigation concluded this was justified because of the threat to another officer, Aaron Abella, who claimed he tried to restrain the 36-year-old. Other witnesses suggested Mr Salter only posed a threat to himself. The PIC says these contradictions were deliberately left out of a final report by Detective Inspector Russell Oxford. On the first night of the investigation, without having sufficient material to properly form an opinion, Oxford decided that the shooting of Adam Salter had been justified. It says the inspector's main role was to ensure the case was dealt with rigorously and thoroughly, but his investigation did not meet that standard. Criminal charges, including perjury, have been recommended for four officers who could also be disciplined. Others, including Inspector Oxford, face possible disciplinary action. The report says an independent oversight body for critical incidents would boost public confidence, but stopped short of calling for one. The idea was put to the police minister in Parliament. This matter, uh, the, uh, the uh, critical incidents issue in relation to New South Wales Police, will form part of the review of the Police Act. Police officers don't have faith in the Police Integrity Commission and we've seen that over the last four investigations and we've seen that in this investigation. The PIC has called for a review of police media policy, saying the force should avoid making a media release which prejudges the results of an investigation which has only just begun. The Salter family is yet to respond to the findings. Carl Herr, ABC News.